ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the final visit of the Sunship Valley Roads and that's your cell phone. And preparation for later to go. Out in San Francisco, going to meet up with Ben and Josh. It's a pretty awesome crew uh, at Magnify. It's amazing what they are cultivating here. Just uh, such a strong awareness of the presence of God. And uh, the other way. Oh, the other way? <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I better pay attention. Dove. It's really seagull. Finally united with Ben DeAnda. I know. Joshua Kelly. Say hello, guys. Oh, are you looking at me? Hey. Are you looking at me? <laughs> you are you looking your, at me, kid? You bring your camera? No, man. I. I can't get my gear and my camera to, uh, together. Why? Wow. Because I just can't. This is Yesenia. Hello! She does all kinds of things. <laughs> she got me batteries last year. <laughs> ben, of course. This yes. is the venue yes. for Glory 20. Oh, it's so good. It's going to be amazing. So, so what a beautiful place, too. Wow. Josh Kelly. Uh, Rocking sweatpants. <laughs> I'm in bougie land. Bougie. Wearing sweatpants and I'm rocking rock and roll sweatpants. sweatpants and a tied on Miami Marlins shirt. <laughs> this is Phil, the sound man extraordinaire. Nah, he is not me. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> in San Francisco, California. <laughs> yeah, before you. Yeah. There's a Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Now I'm moved out of one. completely covering everybody, and I saw everybody in the conference become of gold and covered with liquid gold and glory. Yeah, beauty, beauty, the beauty of the king. Oh, you're going to do some... Hagen some Henderson. Film it. What do you feel like the Lord has done today so far? I think he's calling people to repent. That's what I think he's calling people to do. <laughs> yeah, there was some real healing in here today. Yeah, for yeah. real. I mean, I think there's a there's a real act that the Lord requires of yeah. people to turn their hearts back when it gets all rusty and stale and, yeah. and just say, hey, I'll lay down my pride and say, yeah. It's time to repent and get back right with Jesus. Isn't it interesting how sometimes we can doctrinalize numbness and distance from God? Yeah. We almost make it like He's somehow testing us or bringing us through something. But I don't. I don't find that to be true at all, ever. Right. Distance from God is just always us. <laughs> yeah. Totally. And it's it's a, always one, there. One step away. To come one back. heart step away to just. Yeah. Jesus, I'm coming all the way back. That's it. And then you That's can come awesome. right back into the glory of God. <laughs> He was moving in hearts, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> ben, ben leads us through explorations in prayer. <laughs> he takes us in journeys <laughs> through the throne room. Yes, he does. The chamber of the Most yes, High. he does. He brought us right into his heart. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was amazing. Susan, you are an absolute oh. rock star. Yeah. <laughs> Serious, right? Oh, my there. gosh, like man. Yeah. yeah. It and was like Everyone started arrow. to fall apart. I feel like my like heart's arrow. beating again after she gets up there and leads us in intercession. I'm like, this is such a wiser way to do this than I would yeah. do. I just like everybody just repent. Yeah. <laughs> just get on your face and, you know, give your heart back to God. It's so simple. That's what I was thinking. It's, it's so just simple. so simple. It's so simple, Ben. <laughs> So John is grilling out here. It's a hot rock. Are you getting it medium rare? Yeah, I have to. It's a walk. Okay, Hannah. Eric, you okay. grilling out, bro? Your garlic's going to get... I am gonna grilling on a rock. This is just too cool not to get on this. <laughs> what you going for, Susan? Susan's going to just... Medium rare? Eric, do you feel tribal? I feel very tribal. <laughs> Yeah.
gifts from the Lord. And I saw it being like joy and like joy igniting in these ladies. And you're really, really, really significant person in the body of Christ. Thank you. Oh, I really like you. Because there is no place for insecurity in the kingdom of God. And I bring the lies of the enemy. We declare freedom. Earlier, I said, give me the voice of the bridegroom. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, as my daughter taught me, girls don't want to be yelled at when they're being proposed to. <laughs> so, so give me the voice of the bridegroom. <laughs> I'll let you see my, my, my flappy ears with my mask. Yeah, it's been amazing so far. My favorites... <laughs> my favorites have been um, Richard Gordon and Eric, of oh. course. Yeah. Yeah, Rich. Man. Richard is just... He's so much like Eric. Yeah. It's, it's neat to see the two of them in right. the same place together. It's, it's uncanny. Phil Rivera is doing the sound for us. He's, uh, I mean, we've shifted venues, got set up like in an hour. <laughs> I mean, like, totally great. The spirit of this age is in us to that degree we're going to be sifted. The Lord is sifting out all of us. Do you believe that? Yeah. I didn't hear a lot of amens, but that's the absolute truth. You might as well say amen anyway. If you, want, if you are going to be a part of what God's going to do, you will be sifted, and the spirit of this age will be removed from you. Amazing to hear from Paul Keith Davis this morning. Paul Keith, he just he's such a well, isn't he? Everybody just wanted to sit around and ask him questions. <laughs> Please tell us everything. Please talk more and we tell don't us. Know anything. Put everything Jesus inside of you into us. Look at the scenery. Good gracious, like you're in the middle of Italy. <laughs> right? It just comes out, you know. It's like <laughs> Glory Twenty is a wrap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What an awesome time. I mean, what an absolute time, but just an absolute fire. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a fire time we had. As a son or daughter of God. Yes, yes, Holy yes. Spirit, may you pour yourself out tonight, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. To all of us, God. We yes. all need you, God. To the yes, people Lord. that need you the most, but we need you, God. The church needs you, God. Yes, God. Here, like the first sight of the blind, like the redemption of all lost time. 
and now he's more than home to me. And I'm left only with the memory of whoever he was, whoever I was before he passed by me. One glimpse, one sight, makes my heart right. Oh, precious love of mine. Your lips, they drip with honey, <laughs> and your kisses like wine. Your voice is so tender, and your eyes, they're always so kind. Your touch is bliss. I leave everything else behind. I am yours and you are mine. Everything in you I find. Everything in you I find. And I praise you, give you glory. There's not one like you, not even one. Thank you for being so close. So we're back at the uh, San Francisco airport. The uh, Magnify Conference is a wrap, and we are on our way back home. It's been an amazing time in the Lord's presence. And uh, we also went to Psalm 84 Church last night. Eric Gilmore spoke, and uh, yeah, the presence of God was so near in that place. It was really, really precious. That wasn't a long. Can you hand me my phone? Oh yeah. Gracias. That wasn't a long TSA pre-check, was it, Josh? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I grew older as I was standing here. So we got delayed in San Francisco. We might make our connection. Well, the adventure continues. Josh Kelly and I are in the. Uh, Dallas Airport. Our flight got delayed and until tomorrow. So we're sitting here waiting to... Uh... Yeah, you better hurry though. Anyway, we're waiting to uh, get a hotel for tonight. So me and Josh Kelly have been living out the plot of planes, trains, and automobiles. This is the next day after our flight delay and rebooking. And then they lost my flight, or lost me on the flight. And then they said, no, there I was. So <clears throat> we're headed to the airport a little early to make sure we're uh, still headed home. We had some communion this morning. I believe it's going to be a different day today. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, it's got to be. I got to get home. <laughs> yeah over and out.